looks fun. Good afternoon everybody, Carl Biker here and it's time for my second instalment in my video editing basics for vloggers series. Although really it's kind of the first instalment. The first one was more of an introduction than actually showing how to do anything. Uh, I thought I'll start with the absolute basics in this video and we'll look at just how to preview your video that you're creating and how to uh, navigate the timeline. So real basics. We'll do something more edity in the next installment. So I've set up Movie Studio with a clip. I've dragged in a single clip into the timeline and it happens to be the clip that was also the introductory bit of this video. Just press play, you'll see. Me going past the cherry picker. Looks fun. Now, you'll see me click that button. That button is play from start. That just lets you preview your entire video. Quite a handy little thing. And then there are buttons like you'd find on your video player. So you can pause. So you can just pause playback. Play to carry on playing. Looks fun. And stop. Which stops playback. The difference between pause and stop is subtle. But if we play it, I'll show you again. So if we pause... You see the preview has paused at this point, and if I click play, it carries on from the same point. However, if I start the point here, so we're just behind the Fiat 500, and we'll play. And this time fun. you stop, you see it returns us back to that point. So if there's a particular part of your video that you're working on, you can keep playing that part by clicking the play button making sure you're happy with it, Looks fun. clicking stop, making any amendments, clicking play again. And that allows you to keep working on that same part and finessing it, I suppose is a nice word. Um, another couple of buttons for navigating through your video. These two on the end are quite handy. Uh, these allow you to move forwards and backwards by one frame at a time. So you can see we can actually move very slowly through the video one for each click that comes to be very important for certain effects things like blurring out faces or pixelating number plates which i'm going to show in a future installment and we can go backwards in the same way it's also good if you want to find a very specific part maybe you want to beep out some naughty language and you want to find exactly where that starts so they're kind of your main preview uh, bits. So we move down to the timeline where we've got our video track and our audio track. Um, we can navigate that quite easily too. So one simple way, this line is showing as our current position and we can move that line by clicking to a certain point. So maybe I want to move to the point where I start saying this looks fun. Well that's probably one of these little blobs on the audio timeline so I can just click just before that press play just to make sure it's the right place looks fun and I can stop at that point and again we're back to where we started we found the right point we can also move that around rather than clicking by dragging it so if you're looking for a particular bit of video it's quite handy to drag it and then you see the preview update as you go and we can move it forwards and backwards some weird effects you can also do a limited version of that by dragging this little gray thing at the top I kind of handle thing uh, that will move more slowly, so it doesn't move with your mouse pointer, but it moves towards your mouse pointer. Um, and it moves at a speed that's related to how quickly you're moving the mouse. The difference is it will play back the sound at the same time. So if we drag slowly over the sound, we get some... Move fast. It's much quicker. Very odd effect. It's not very accurate, to be honest. It's hard to use looks fun but it's it's handy you can get these little jog wheels um little wheel that you hold in your hand and spin forwards and backwards like the professional editors use if you've got one of those it does that kind of thing for you i don't have one of those maybe i'll work out how to make one and show you it on video so that allows you to navigate um, you've also got some 
quick buttons back up here to jump to the beginning of your video or the end of your video quite handy and then the only other thing to say on the timeline is um, about what you can see so at the minute we've got quite a short clip you can see across the top the timings so these are in seconds the bit after the semicolon is frames so if we get to a point where we're right down in the detail I'll show you that in a minute you actually see the frame numbers on there as well um, so this video is actually about 10 seconds long we can see exactly how long it is because we're at the end and it's over here so zero hours zero minutes 10 seconds and 13 frames and at the moment the project is working at 30 frames per second so it's about a third of a second a little bit over a third of a second so 10 and a third ish seconds long um, if we want to zoom in on a bit uh, to go more detailed so this bit here where the sound is maybe we want to cut that out very accurately um, you can normally scroll your video using the scroll bar at the bottom but it's a special scroll bar that you can grab the ends on and that just scrolls one bit so this button actually represents an area of your video within the whole area that's available for editing so if we scroll one of the sides to zoom in we actually can see much more detail on the video let's try and get that sound so we can see the whole waveform Oop. bit excited so this bit here from kind of here to here ish is probably one word let's find out looks fun ah, looks <laughs> so you can see we can zoom right in by dragging the ends of this little uh, scroll box or we can zoom out by dragging it the other way which is quite handy depending on whether you're working with the detail of your video or you want to see the whole thing at once uh, now that's about it really for navigating your video and seeing your preview i hope that was useful uh, we'll do something where we actually do some editing in the next video rather than just moving around but might refer back to this in future videos for anybody who, who's new to the software and doesn't know how it works one last thing before i go uh, I'm not sure how often uh, to upload these videos and whether I should upload them as well as my vlogs and random clips or um, in between them. I'd just like to get your feedback on that. I tend to upload one video a day and these could be one of them, at which point I'm probably going to be uploading one a week. Or I could upload them in addition to my other videos, in which case I'll just upload them as and when I create them. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Ride safe, everyone, and I shall talk to you all again soon.